Temperatures are about to drop, so let's talk about frostbite with chickens. My chickens are more prone to frostbite at nighttime when they're inside the coop because the temperatures are the lowest here at night. They're most likely to get frostbite on their combs, their wattles, and then also on their feet. Obviously, temperature contributes to frostbite. Humidity is a big contributing factor as well. If there's moisture in the air, then there's moisture on their combs, and then they can get frostbite from that moisture freezing. Something you can do to prevent humidity in the coop is to make sure the water is not inside the coop if possible. Also, the more chickens you've packed inside the coop, the more they're breathing out hot air and that's gonna make humidity. And poop. The more chicken droppings you have inside the coop, the more humid it's gonna be. We like to use the shelf method in our coop so we can remove the poop as needed and the bedding on the ground stays clean and then there's no humidity from that poop for the next night. As long as you have ventilation at the top of your coop, the warm air can escape. Chickens will tuck their combs underneath their wings to keep them warm. Some of my chickens have really big combs, especially my rooster and some of my hens, and they can't tuck them all the way. That's why I hang a heater above them. It's not a heater that's gonna heat the coop really warm. It just kind of keeps the air above their heads warm so they don't get frostbite on their combs. Their wattles are prone to frostbite if you have open waterers, because as they're getting a drink, their wattles will dip into that water and then the water will freeze on them. We like to use the little spout waterers from Renacoop. And then to prevent frostbite on their feet, the chickens do this all on their own as long as they have a place to put their feet that's nice and flat. I give my chickens a dry space to hang out, roof on the run, wrapped in plastic. That way their feet can stay dry and then stay warm. It's 35 degrees here. Matilda's been outside all day long and her feet are actually warm to the touch. At night, my chickens have two by four roosting bars that are turned the flat way so they can cover their feet with their body and prevent them from getting cold. I make a frostbite cream for some of my chickens with bigger combs that can't tuck them under their wing. There's one you can buy online for the bottom of dog's paws that are outside in winter and you can use it on your chicken's comb too. I think it's called Musher's Secret. The recipe for this and all of my frostbite information is linked in my bio for now. Matilda says stay warm.